How did old pig biter get loose? Oh boy, mateys, it's Dazzling Latte, and welcome back to Monkey Island 2 with Chuck's Revenge. Okay, we were. Oh, yeah, we need this again. Oh, crap. <laughs> we do need Wally's monocle. I feel bad for, like, taking it from him, like, twice. But I just want to talk to him. Dang, I lost my monocle again. I feel so bad about it. Okay. So. We're gonna go talk to the voodoo lady. I love voodoo lady. Ooh, we need the string too. We need a rat, so we need some string. Just take a little. Okay. Guy vs. Three Boyd. It's been a long time since you last came to see me. Tell me about this Largo guy. He's a weak little man who bullies this whole town, the whole island around. Most people are afraid of him because he was once LeChuck's right-hand man. But LeChuck's history, I got rid of him myself. True evil can never be destroyed completely. You will see. Why don't you just put a curse on Largo? I tried. My most powerful magic lies in voodoo dolls. But to make an effective voodoo doll, I need some items from Largo's person, and no one's brave enough to go get them for me. What kind of ingredients do you need for the doll? Are you willing to help me make one? Uh, maybe. <laughs> to make it work, you need to bring me some personal artifacts of the victim. One from each of the four basic voodoo groups. Something of the thread. Something of the head, something of the body, and something of the dead. Hey, that almost rhymes! Through the thread, I need a piece of Largo's clothing, and a lock of hair will do for the head. Bring me a sample of fluid from his body, and for the, his dead relatives, require some remnant of a corpse. I need a remnant of a corpse. We got a shopping list. Thanks. Do you have any of those ingredients with you? Yes, we do. I have to pay. Mm, not quite a part of his head, but maybe I can get some scalp fragments from it. Have you brought me any other ingredients? Yes, we have. I have some of the spit. Excellent. You may keep the paper. <laughs> have you brought me any other ingredients? I have this pearly right bar. Yes, that will work. The final ingredients? I'll bring it later. Good. Now go! Okay, so we need. <laughs> it's so gross. We need to go dig up a dead body. <laughs> so, for that, we need to go to the cemetery. It's so creepy. It's so creepy. <laughs> I don't know. I feel like this this one sort of borders a little bit on horror. You know, just kind of like the unsettling <laughs> elements of it. Like, it's kind of comedy horror type. Because, I mean, there's some stuff you do in this game that's a little bit off. <laughs> Okay, so we walk to this hill right here. Like I said, the first time I ever played this, I it, this part took me a, a long time to complete. Okay. Look at Tombstone. 
Marco Largo Real Grand, hell on sea or land. The good news he's, he, is he's dead, the bad news is he's bred. I can't, oh, I can't. This is creepy feeling. <laughs> I swear on my grandfather's grave, something weird's going on. Okay, so we've got the bone. See, I got my Christmas tree in the background. It's got all the lights on it. Um, yes, we need to go to the swamp. Phone's falling out again. <laughs> if you brought me the final ingredients, I have the bone of his grandfather. Perfect. At last, now I can make a voodoo doll to be reckoned with. Let me get my juju bag. And now for the ingredients. A dandruff flake from Largo's head. Single piece of Largo's thread. Drop of fluid from his body. A single chip off the bone of the dead. And finally, some miscellaneous voodoo herbs and seasonings, including monosodium glue mate. This ought to be good. Two, four, six, eight. Who do we assassinate? Largo, Largo, yeah! Hey, that looks just like him! Thanks, Voodoo Lady! One more thing. Some of the ingredients were not op the optimum specimens. It should still work, but it will have a limited range. You'll have to get close to Largo. Very close. Okay. This is so spooky! forget what we need the rat for. Oh, yeah, I remember. Okay, let's take care of that part first. Or should I take care of Largo first? I think we should take care of Largo first. Since we got the voodoo doll, let's do it in this episode. And then... And then we take care of the rat. <laughs> I have no idea what I need the rat for. Oh wait, yeah, I just remembered what I need. <laughs> oh my gosh, it's been a long day. It's definitely been a long day. I might grab some caffeine before the next episode just to kind of wake up a little bit. Oh my gosh, this part, this part always gives, just use Voodoo Doll with, get out of my room. Take that, you stumpy little dim-witted toad. What? <laughs> Who do you think you are? I'm Guybrush Threepwood. People don't always recognize me. <laughs> That's why I carry this. <laughs> I'm gonna tear you limb from limb. Why are you doing that? Largo Le Grand, you are no good vicious too, but too fun. <laughs> <laughs> my island. <laughs> I already spent all your money. Oh, well, I command you to leave this island. <laughs> Just you try and make. Okay, one second. 
<laughs> that was too bit thug. Not too but thug. teach you to mess with the slayer of the ghost pirate LeChuck. What's that? You killed LeChuck? As a matter of fact, I did. Quite an interesting story, actually. The fortune teller said she didn't, LeChuck. She did, did she? Does she have one of these? Is it? Yes, LeChuck's beard. Still alive and wriggling. Let me see that. Boy, it is alive! <laughs> We've been looking for a piece, living piece of LeChuck for years. Now we can bring him back to life. Look out, world! The most fearsome pirate of all time will soon sail the seas again. Whoops! <laughs> I'm afraid it's true, Guybrush. If they have any animated tissue, they can reanimate his whole body. But I blew his body into a zillion gooey pieces! Not his body, Guybrush. You destroyed his spirit form. His body was safely buried far away. By now it must be... rotten. Partially decomposed. Yes. And I don't think that's going to make him any more pleasant to deal with. He's going to be looking for me! Yes. He's going to try to kill me! Undoubtedly. What can I do? You're already doing all you can. What's that? Hunting for Big Whoop. Oh yeah, I was doing that, wasn't I? Big Whoop isn't just a treasure. It contains the secret to another world. Find that world and you'll be able to escape LeChuck forever. But I know so little about Big Whoop. Take this book. Big Whoop. Unclaimed Bonanza or Myth? Where'd you get this? I checked it out at the Fat City Library. I foresaw your need. Gee, thanks! I used your name when I checked it out, so be sure and return it when you're when you're through reading. The overdue finds in Fat City are pretty deep. Steep. Gee, thanks. <laughs> okay. So now let's go take care of the rat situation. Open box. Use a stick with it. Oops, not with not with the box. With stick. Then we need the cheese squigglies. part is so funny. <laughs> Good thing this is a cold soup. Excuse me. Yeah, boy. Logo Legrand has left Scab Island for good. Well, well. I guess all those laxatives I was slipping into his drinks finally got to him. <laughs> what? <laughs> don't worry, I don't put him in all the drinks. Hey, uh, how's the stew tonight? <laughs> stew? Oh, gosh. 
We only serve gourmet chilled soups here. In fact, our cook has been working all day on a very special which yeah, let me go see how he's doing. How's the voice show see Bernard? Excellent, sir. Won't you have a taste? I think I will. Oh my god! <laughs> what kind of demented recipe book are you using? <laughs> You're fired. But sir out. <laughs> Get out of my sight. <laughs> This is the most disgusting, filthy mess I've ever seen in my life. Look at all the hair! <laughs> What's this stuff? How am I ever going to get rid of this junk? Well, here's your soup! <laughs> uh, I'm not really that hungry anymore. Dang. <laughs> hey, can you cook? A little. How do you like a career in the fast-paced world of pub food cuisine, cuisine? Are you saying there's opening in the kitchen? Yeah, you interested? I don't know. How much does it pay? 420 pieces of eight a week. First week paid in advance. Sure, I'll give it a shot. Great, the job is yours. Here's a week's worth of wages. Go strap on an apron and get to work. Okie dokie. All we needed was the money. Yes. Okay, so now we got everything we need to leave the island. Excited? I think I want to go to Dinky Island first. Is it Dinky Island? No. I can't remember. I think that's later in the game. I think I might have given something away. <laughs> okay, so. My name's Captain Dread. What can I do for you? Need to charter a ship. Can't charter you my ship because... A while ago I l lost my lucky sailing necklace. I called it my eye that has seen the world. I can't sail without it. No way, man. Gotta run lots of treasure hunting to do. Okay, bye, Mon. Come again. Would you like my monocle? Thanks, Mon. This will do just fine for my lucky sailing necklace. What can I do for you? Need to charter a ship. You're in luck, my friend. Rumor has it that Largo's been run off the island. So I'm now free to sail again. Only problem is, you don't look like the type that has 20 pieces of eight. Well, actually, I do have that much. Well, man, consider my ship chartered. Great! Where's your ship? <laughs> You're standing it, man. Yikes. Part two. Four map pieces. Oh, deep in the Caribbean, hidden by an endless storm, lies the Chuck's Fortress. So, when are we going to resurrect the old bloated fool? Oops! I'll ignore that comment just this one time, Largo. 
Only because they tell me you found Guybrush three foot. This, it's three foot. Oh, <laughs> very good. No one gets the upper hand on LeChuck without getting what he deserves. I want Guybrush brought to me and I want him brought alive. I am entrusting this to you. Do not fail me. Never your voodoo lordship. I, Guybrush Threepwood is finished. I need you to start building a very special voodoo doll. With pleasure. Okay. So let's I'm off to a fine big whoop. Let's pick up some parrot chow. Okay. Welcome to the Jolly Rasta. Where do you want to go? What are my choices? I only know how to get to three islands, man. What are they? There's Scab Island where we just came- or there's- where, The only island where pirates are free to be pirates. Then there's Booty Island. Booty Island, that was what I was thinking of. The festive French Mardi Gras party all the time island. It's run by one of the most respected and loved governors around. Governor Elaine Marley. Elaine? Unless there is Fat Island. A fascist dictatorship run by an overbloated pig named Governor Fat. Here, take this easy to read reference map courtesy of Captain Dread. You can use it to show me where you want to go. Okay. So, where are we going to go first? I don't know. But I think it's a good place to end the second episode. So, for now I have to go, but until then, smooth sailing to you and your pirate crew.